Monique Nicole Page. You know when you get called by your full name, it's serious. <laughs> First time we met, I saw her walk in at a friend's birthday party, and I knew I was going to eventually approach her. You know, I didn't want to look too desperate when that happened. <laughs> Literally two minutes later, a tap on my shoulder, and there she was asking, did I go to Georgia Tech? After confirming, she was like, I knew you were that guy on the poster. Now, in my mind, I was saying to myself, you know, an increased confidence because she already knows who I am. <laughs> of course, I popped my collar. <laughs> Only for her to say, yeah, I just wanted to introduce myself and say, hey, I met the other guys on the poster, so you complete the set. <laughs> I was confused, but a little did she know that she would see me two days later. When we first met, I knew there was something special about you. I remember texting my track friends, I finally met you, a well-known Georgia Tech athlete. <laughs> and that you were super cool and very funny. Then I discreetly texted one of them and tried to figure out your situation. Little did I know you had done the same with one of my close friends and decided to pop up at one of my CrossFit classes. No warning. I was wearing my ugly outfit. I was just kind of there. But I had to power through it. You asked me all the questions that you knew the answers to. Made me coach you on lifts you already knew how to do. And I knew that. But then, you know, after that, we exchanged numbers and the rest is history. She was beautiful, social, an athlete, and smart. Found out that she's also patient and understanding. For anyone who knows me, my cardio is basketball, and I definitely get my cardio in. <laughs> Not only did she embrace it, she started playing herself even though it was short-lived. <laughs> But what sealed her for me is her sense of humor. Her favorite quote she told me, which we both agree with, <laughs> is, my future husband is probably fake laughing at all his girlfriends laying boring jokes right now. <laughs> Be patient, King, a real clown is on the way. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony. And to this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. To the parents of this beautiful couple, you did an outstanding job in pouring into your children and it's an honor to be able to be a part of this beautiful ceremony. Over the years, you've shown me everything that I had prayed for in a partner. You've nursed me back to health from not one, but two surgeries after we talked about not playing basketball anymore. <laughs> You've inspired me and instilled in me that I can be anything I put my mind to, except the basketball player. <laughs> but you've also shown me things that only God knew that I needed in a partner. You've taught me patience and not allowing others to direct my path that only God and I can walk on. You've shown me healthy communication and how to love each other through disagreements. You've also helped me stretch in ways that I did not think I could stretch and allow me to become the person that I'm capable of instead of the person I'm comfortable with. And I wouldn't be where I am today without your love and encouragement. Who gives this woman? My wife and myself. To be married. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Watching Jimmy and Monique together, it is clear that they are meant to be together. 
They bring out the best in each other and make each other happier than I've ever seen them together. Let me get the clown in you a little bit. But before I do that, Miss Lemons, he finally made it. <laughs> belong together. We see it, saw it from day one since I met James, and it's just a beautiful day, beautiful moment, and many, many more beautiful days and moments through the hard and the good times, many, many good times. This is the best thing you've ever done in your life. Um, I mean, I love you. I love you. You know you're my brother. I'm happy here to celebrate you and my new brother, James. And um, cheers to y'all. Happy, happy, happy more years of love and marriage. We've always been lost, right? Whenever we went to go into high school, even day in, day out, we were always lost. But JJ always got us there. And Mo, He's always gonna get you there. I promise that. The, the crew has gained a new member. We're happy to see you. So I, I wish you guys an eternity of love and happiness. It's been a huge blessing in my life to have three ladies that I will continue to grow old with and to be a part of your lovely day. We love you and we cherish you. May you face every challenge with grace and courage in Jesus, Mom. And may you always remember the love that brought you together today. Congratulations, James, and my new sister, Monique. I am honored to have been a part of this day and to stand next to you as your best man. for you, Mo and James, and your marriage going forward, for a loving, lasting marriage fortified by the love God has, for both of you becoming one. So with that, I'd ask the audience, if you have a glass, to raise them, and let's toast the newly minted Mr. and Mrs. Lemons. Cheers. Pronounce them husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man put a thunder. James, you may now kiss your bride. I vow to love you and pray for you always. Times will not always be easy, but between you, me, and God, we can do anything. I vow to be your biggest supporter, an ear for your thoughts, a heart for your heart, and a hand for your hand. I vow to always remind you that you're more than enough, even when this world will try to tell you differently. I vow that no matter where we are in this lifetime, to always make you feel at home, and that you can be your most authentic self with me. But lastly, I vow to continue to defend LeBron James as the GOAT, and I know y'all really don't believe in it, but it's fun. We're prepared for all you non-believers. Brick. Brick. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> I love you. I cherish you. Thank you, God, for answering my prayers above all I could ask thank or imagine. She doesn't know that um, that um, when I said my prayers at night through the years, I asked for the perfect woman for me. And after us being together, I just ask him to make sure I keep you.